Hey, for those who don't know, RDBZ is now a phoenix. <laughs> It's like, no, nah, Bradley Bill's a son, though. No, seriously, like, Bradley Bill's a son. Um, it's new. It's something I don't think anybody expected in terms of, like, trade machine-type trades, maybe on the team. But for Chris Paul, Landry Shamed in, like, seconds, not even first outside of pick swaps, which I guess count, but not really. It, it's... Ah, I did, didn't see this one coming, not gonna lie. Now, we should have expected, and I did expect this, that the package would not add up to what you did expect in Trade Finders. And you're like, Sage, what the fuck does that even mean? Essentially, Bradley Beal had not only a no-trade clause, but he, well, no, he had a no-trade clause, meaning that he not only determines where he goes, but what he what he's um, accepted for. So it was a matter of like, hey, yo, I want to go here, and I don't want you to nuke the team. Or you could even have been weird and been like, hey, I want to go here, but you're going to add a brand name back. You got to make a trade for Beal look good type shit. Whatever the case may be, he chose Phoenix. Um, With that, that means one of two, if not three things. One, Kevin Durant has still never had a bad team. Gotta love it. <laughs> As a person who, as a person who, I, I fuck with KD. Now, I gotta love this. I don't care. Call it super duper team, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. I like the idea of, hey, man, we, we gonna max this KD book thing out until it just washes. Two, not gonna lie, you got Pac DA up. And I, I know y'all are gonna scratch your head, but I just don't see the 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 logic or the common sense behind it because now that team not desperately needs a point guard but i'd rather you just run a small ball lineup with book at the three and get a point guard than try to um maybe run like d book basically being your facilitator getting another wing and then being cool with da at the five i'd, I'd rather I'd, I'd rather you use him to make your team fit better versus trying to um say all right this is our four now let's get a fifth guy whether that's another center or a point guard or a wing i, I don't like this core but the talent is there 100 percent. i don't think anybody would argue that does this team immediately clear the West? No. I think we all learned something about Nikola Jokic. I think we all learned something about Steph Curry. We're forgetting about him. And I hate to say it, but even my Flakers for you guys, but my Lakers, they've um improved severely. Granted, they got swept by Nikola Jokic's Nuggets, but everything else prior to, everybody was raving about, oh, wow, the Lakers are on timing. So they're an interesting team as well in this mix. Uh, the Kings can score with anybody. So I ultimately, I don't think the Suns just clear the West with this move. It's a great move. It's a damn good start. But I think there's a follow-up move destined to happen. And um, last but certainly not least, it's not a super team. Before y'all start, I know it's three big time names. If the casuals are going to say three 30 point per game score. It's not a super team. I value super teams as a team that is not only super in terms of brand names like all you guys like, but it also needs to gel together. And I think if I were to call the Suns a super team, they're going to have to make that core make sense. Right now, it's just a bunch of niggas that can score like a ta 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 Bang. And I ain't saying that team ain't good, but I don't think it's a super team. But y'all let me know if that last part I'm tripping for y'all. Um, take care and stay blessed. And I ain't gonna lie. Phoenix is like that. It's unfortunate that I'm gonna have to hate on you all season, though, because I'm still a Laker fan at heart. But real deal, Bill is now a son. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Soul, soul, soul. By the way, shout out, shout out to the green, because uh, he ain't going to Boston. But that should be a good thing for y'all, man. I'm not gonna go that far, though. End of the video. Bye.